Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Good Thursday evening to you, Storm Tracker 7 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Booth here. Once we got uh, rid of those clouds this morning, it really turned beautiful. I mean, it was pretty nice in the morning as well, but it got really beautiful with all that blue sky throughout the afternoon into the evening. We're going to keep some of that around and we're going to see clear skies overnight as well. 60 right now in Steubenville, 59 in Wheeling. A lot of us on either side of 60. We've dropped down to 54 in Waynesburg. Zanesville is still holding on to 62 degrees, so not too bad of an evening out there. If you're going to be out and about, you might need a jacket if you're going to go out for a walk after dinner. I, other than that, though, uh, it shouldn't be too terribly bad if you're going to be around over the next couple of hours. You got to do anything outdoors. As long as the sun's up, you can still get a little bit of uh, warmth from that. But you can see we've had a chance to really clear out throughout the afternoon hours. And as we zoom out and take a look at the bigger picture, not really a whole lot happening out there. Clear skies well out to the west of us. We're going to keep a very pleasant pattern on the way over the next few days. We're going to see temperatures actually get a little bit closer to average uh, or a little bit above average, I should say, tomorrow. Today we hit a high of 60. 63 is the average high. That's pretty close. We've been well below average though throughout the week so far, but then tomorrow we're going to flip that coin. Things are going to start trending upwards and over the weekend we'll be talking about temperatures into the low to mid 70s. It's going to be very pleasant, very dry out there. So if you got any outdoor plans this weekend, you got any birthday parties, I don't know, you got any parties planned outdoors, not a bad idea. Maybe you want to have a football party outdoors, not a bad idea. Just probably going to need to grab that jacket as the sun goes down because we do have some cool nights, just not as cool as they have been on the way. We have frost advisories that will be going into effect as we head into the overnight hours for the entire viewing area, which means that if you have any sensitive plants, you want to bring those indoors or you want to cover them with a, sh a sheet or a cloth. Don't use plastic, but if you want to extend the growing season, keep that in mind because we are going to see temperatures uh, warm up a little bit. I think we're going to see a little more widespread frost tonight. Still have the chance for it tomorrow. But then things aren't going to be quite as chilly in the mornings, at least not as bad as they've been. As we head on through the coming mornings, you can see temperatures are going to be generally in the low to mid and upper 40s, even towards 50 by the time we hit Wednesday morning. And we do have a, well, we did have a full moon earlier today, 726 AM. We had the full moon out there. It's known as the full hunter's moon because this is when those deer, when the animal are fattening themselves up. So in Native American culture, uh, this would be the time to get the hunting done before the winter. Also, this was a super moon. The moon does not have a perfectly circular orbit, so there are times when it's closer to, times when it's farther away from the Earth. Well, this is the time that it's actually closest to the Earth for the entire year, so this would be the biggest moon of 2024. It's kind of tough to see, though, unless it's near the horizon. So we've had that storm track pushing off to the north. That's allowed warmer weather to move in. It's going to continue to push up to the north tomorrow, so highs are going to be warming back up tomorrow, and they're going to soar into the 70s as we get on into the weekend and beyond. Pollen forecast going to stay on the low side over the next couple of days, so enjoy that. Ragweed would be the main culprit out there. Dropping down into the mid 30s tonight, back up to 68 tomorrow. Looks like some nice weather for those football games, but by the end of the games, definitely probably going to need a jacket. So I said it last night, I'll say it again. Thermos of hot chocolate, not a bad idea. 37, a chilly start for your Saturday. 73 in the afternoon, though, looking fantastic. 73 with sunshine on Sunday, looking pretty good on Monday. We're back into the mid 70s. We'll hit the mid 70s on Tuesday. The next best chance for rain is going to get here late Wednesday into early Thursday. A cold front comes through here with some spotty showers. That'll knock temperatures down to 64 by the end of the seven day.